It's my turn, bitch. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Name's Carlos. And I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on, it's this way. an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is.
Nice job, Supercop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight filled. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. No. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Joe. No. Out of here. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Be safe. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway is about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you. Leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. How long with your hot date? Nah, she's not like that. I know she's not like anybody. <clears throat> All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Locked. You 
stay on the door. I got this car. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? Jill? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Jill! Hey, answer me. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... I got Jill knew all along. And she trusted me anyway.
Tyrell. What the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry points is better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Seems a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bosey motherfucker. Good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You bring money. I like this. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! This would be worth millions. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Jill! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Oh no. We're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't you? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile impact. Ah. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. 
Goodbye. Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. <laughs> There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. Finally over. So long, Percy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making a virus. Thank you. 